What's up, Buffalo? I love y'all so much. I love you. We gotta, we gotta get going because we gotta, the polls are about to open. We gotta go, we have to go vote, right? That's what this is all about. Today is the first day of early voting. At every turn in my life, I'm telling you I've been told what I cannot do. Or because I did something before, it meant that I couldn't do the next thing that I wanted to do. And I never let that stop me. But I can tell you this for sure, I've never done it alone. I've always had the support of a beloved community, and that community is the community of Buffalo, New York. When I talk about the Walton campaign, I always speak in the plural. I say we and us. I say our campaign. I say our platform. I say we are going to. We will. We have. We done. We did. We did. We did this. We won the primary. We won it fair and square. We won it with integrity. We won it with honesty. And we won it by running on our values. Now you can call it whatever you want. They're going to dog whistle and try and make it seem like we're the ones that are wrong, but we're the ones that are right. Every person has the right to safe, healthy housing. Every person has the right to an quality education. Every person has the right to breathe clean air and drink clean water. Every person has the right to bargain collectively, be a member of a union, and have their rights protected. This is our city. We are the workers, we do the work. We are tired, we are sick and tired of those that have the most always getting everything. We know it's very obvious that the Republicans are pouring money into this race. We know it's very obvious that the talking points that are being used against me, most of which are just flat out lies, but are attacks on my character because my opponent doesn't have a plan. I learned organizing from a very smart person who said you can't run anti-campaigns. You can't, you can't win a campaign by telling someone what you don't want. You have to run a campaign based on what you do want. What are you going to do? So, I hope that all of the angry people who are watching the thousands of people that we are sending to the polls today, are receiving this message loud and clear. When we organize, we win. when we organize, we win. now, Stop your live feed for a moment. <laughs> Text five of your friends, remind them that today is early voting and that they should be voting for India Walton. <laughs> a vote for India Walton is a vote for change. A vote for India Walton is a vote for transparency. A vote for India Walton is a vote for accountability. A vote for India Walton is a vote for us. We've been running a kick-ass campaign, thousands of volunteers, but we cannot relax. We have 10 days left. We have to put, keep our foot on the gas, knock every door, ring every phone, get out and vote, talk to your people. We can't let, we can't leave anything to chance. You know, they're already angry, they're already mad, right? If we don't win by a significant margin, it might be January till we find out who actually won, right? 
So I have a, a number that's been playing in my mind, and the number is 58. We need to get 58% of the vote, because then that way it's mathematically impossible. So when we leave here, the first thing I need you to do, the very first thing I need you to do before you go do anything else, before you go to Eugene V. Debs, to go canvas, before you go have lunch or whatever, the first thing I need you to do is go and cast your vote. Make the news, make the headline in the morning say, this is the biggest turnout in the history of early voting for Erie County. The, the, the final speaker who is coming is, who most of y'all probably came here to see anyway. But when, when we talk about the proliferation of movements, right, know that this didn't, this didn't start with me, this didn't start with this election, that, you know, the work has been going on in Buffalo for a long, long time. That's, you know, how, what groomed me and what made me able to, to be able to withstand the attacks and the BS and all of that, right? Um, you know, people, people in this room, Betty Jean Grant, you know, Har Harper sitting up there somewhere, Luce, Luce who was just on the stage a little while ago. But you know, we, we all have political heroes that we, we follow on Twitter, we watch them on TV, we see them in documentaries, and it's like, wow, you don't have to be like a lawyer or like come from a wealthy family to be able to like run and win and you can do it using the skills and tools that we already have? So what I want y'all to do is give the biggest ground shaking Buffalo, New York welcome to Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio Cortez.